So first, let's look at the heat energy notes. Heat energy notes, which is what you have, uh, what you can see on the screen right now. So these notes, right, you need to know a few things. All these things you can read really on your own. Make sure you, will, you, you have to know these parts, okay? Which is gain heat from where, lose heat to where. There are the three steps for heat energy topic. The three steps will be my heat transfer, heat process, and change. I hope you still remember. Heat transfer is the first step. Every single heat energy topic, you will have heat transfer. Heat process sometimes don't have. Sometimes it depends on the question. You do not have melting, freezing, melt, boiling and all these things. Okay, expansion, contraction. There are seven heat processes that you have to take note. And the third one is your outcome. This is the writing structure for your heat energy. So, but then there's, there's one more step in front, which is your conductor. If there's a conductor, Talk about a conductor first. Whether something is a good conductor, better conductor, poorer conductor, talk about the conductor first. Then you can go on to heat transfer. And I repeat, uh, heat transfer is a definite must. Please remember that. Heat transfer meaning gain heat, lose heat. Okay? So I want to draw this one, the heat graph of water. So first, uh, I want to highlight some things. Water evaporates to form water vapor. Evaporates from water vapor, boiling will form steam. Then what's the difference between the two? Evaporation is my evaporation and boiling, right? These are my heat processes. Huh? Okay, so heat processes. But of course, you both are gaining heat. So you might tell me heat transfer first. So water gain heat. So you might tell me gain heat first. Huh? Both are gaining heat. Gain heat to evaporate to form water vapor. And change. The change is the water vapor or the change is the steam. Okay, same thing. Gain heat, boil, and then steam. So these are the three steps every single time for your heat energy topic. Please be very clear about this. Why do I keep emphasizing on the same thing? Because it's a very big topic and you have to know the three steps, three main steps. Okay, heat transfer, heat process, change. So the difference between steam and water vapor they are the same thing. Both are in gaseous form. They are both gas. Huh? You cannot see any of them. Don't tell me, say, I bought a kettle, I can see the smoke coming out. That is not steam. That is not steam. That is your water droplets. Whatever you can see is liquid already. Whatever you cannot see is gas. Steam is gas. You cannot see gas. Anybody who doesn't understand, please stop me. Huh? So, Heat can do two things. I, either you can change temperature or I purposely state this big capital OR. Make sure you know that I can only do one thing at one time. Okay, so you have to know you can either do change temperature or change state. Only one thing at one time. So I'm going to draw for you and illustrate what, what do I mean by this in a graph. Okay, so the graph I'm going to draw. Uh, okay, I think I draw here lah. Can you, draw, can you draw together with me? Make sure you have your vertical axis. Okay. This vertical axis, you are going to label it as your temperature. Once you have labeled temperature for the horizontal axis, you can label it as time. After you have labeled already, we can do all the numbers here. Huh? So here we got zero at the intersection here. Then after that, we have our 100 degrees Celsius. You label it as well. So I put it here. So after you finish writing your 100 degrees Celsius and zero degrees Celsius, you are going to draw the graph. So I got one straight horizontal line. Okay. Then after that, it will go upwards and then it will reach 100. This is, by the way, a heat graph of water. Water, that's why water got boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. But not everything is 100 degrees Celsius. It depends on the substance. Is it might, might be mercury, might be anything that is liquid. So the boiling point will change. Okay, like coffee. Coffee, not coffee. Maybe not coffee. 
Okay, tell me. Gain heat. Where is it gaining heat? Okay, where is it gaining heat? Okay, so we look at um, zero degrees Celsius, okay, which is here, is melting, right? This point is melting point, correct or not? So if it's melting, that means it's changing state. Just now you have labeled already, right, for melting. You labeled changing state from solid to liquid. So solid plus liquid, both states are at this point here. Make sense? That means I got two states at this constant point here. Are they gaining heat? The answer is yes. They are all gaining heat. The one that I highlighted from the constant to the increase to the constant again, these three points are gaining heat. And I said before, you can gain heat to do two things. You can gain heat to either change temperature. Okay, so change states, we are looking at melting is liquid and plus solid state. This one, I'm changing state, right? So when I'm changing state, can I change my temperature? That means what? Melting cannot, it's constant, ah, correct what? Never change what? But is it gaining heat? Yes. The heat is used to do one thing, which is to change state. So here, yeah. definitely is your what state? Liquid state. Only. Because I can only change my temperature. Ma. When I change temperature, then my state cannot change. Clear? So for boiling, same thing. Please label your different states. You should know that this one is your liquid to gas. Liquid plus gaseous state. Okay? Both states. is changing state, so it's existing in two states here. 